Hello all and welcome to the Stata Learning video about importing comma separated value files that is CSV files to Stata. CSV is a very common file type in different databases and for instance Yahoo Finance uses it and so do many other online databases. An unfortunate thing in CSV files is that it's not a standardized file type. This can sometimes cause problems when importing data. CSV files are imported using the command import delimited. You can find this command from the file menu from import and text data. From there, click browse and navigate to the correct file using the file finder. Let's click open. Stata should now show part of the dataset in the preview window. If everything looks right, click OK. String variables should show as red and numeric variables should be black. If the variables do not look right in the preview window, the separator, it is the delimiter, is something that Stata is not able to automatically recognize as a separator. In that case, you have to tell to Stata what the separator is. In this case, the separator seems to be a semicolon. Let's insert a semicolon in the field delimiter and custom. Now, Stata should be able to separate the variables from each other. Let's click OK. Stata should print the import delimited command. The command is followed by the file path and the file name. The option delimiter sets the custom separator. We could have manually written this command to import the dataset. However, if you import data to Stata for the first time, it may be easier to use the graphical user interface for importing data. However, once you get a bit of experience in importing, using the command line will be a much easier way to import data. It gets even easier if you use the working directory because then you do not have to type the file path. In any case, let's type browse to see the results. Numeric variables should have black observations, and as for the string variables, they should be red. In this case, the date variable is a string variable because Theta is not able to automatically understand it as a date variable. Other than that, everything looks as it should be. Instead of using the browse window, you can be a bit more sophisticated and type describe or briefly DES into the command window. The command describe shows the file types. str means strings, double is a numeric variable with decimals, integer is an integer, and float is also a numeric variable. As we already know, the numeric variables are numeric and the date variable is a string. In the case that numeric variables are strings, first check that you don't have NAs or hyphens or points or anything similar indicating missing numeric observations. Stata understands only an empty cell as a missing observation. If there is a character or a string, indicating missing values, you have to replace those values with empty cells. That can be easily done in Excel. In addition, some datasets may use a comma as a decimal point. That is not accepted by Stata. The decimal point has to be a point. However, that can be easily fixed. I will show in another video how to do that. To sum up, importing CSV file is very easy. Nonetheless, if you want to use only one import command, you can always open CSV files in Excel and save them as Excel spreadsheets. Then you can import them to Stata as Excel files. There is absolutely nothing wrong in that. 
Until next time, have fun working with Stata.